the update, week four. I'm Maggie McDowell. Today we have a very peaceful and relaxing episode. Recently, I've been pulled over um, after Wednesday night church for a suspected DUI. Later, it turns out if you are driving slow and your lights aren't on, then three popos will pull you over. Okay, I've received one speeding ticket in my life, and it was when I was a first year teacher. They assigned me to two different high schools, and one was on the other side of town from the other one. And uh, they only gave me 15 minutes between when one class ended at high school A and the other class started at high school B. And it was exactly about a 15 minute drive from the parking lot of one to the parking lot of the other. And uh, I was traveling from one high school to, to the other, and I went through a yellow light, and uh, I was pulled over by a police officer who was going the other way and said I went through a red light. And I said, well, sir, you couldn't have seen the light because you were going in the opposite direction. Um, and then he thought I was not being very nice, and so he wrote me a speeding ticket because at the time I was doing about seven or eight miles per hour over the speed limit. Not something you normally get a ticket for, but what I learned from the experience is I probably should have just kept quiet and uh, said thank you, sir, and he probably would have let me uh, let me off with a uh, with a warning. So my advice to everybody out there is if you get pulled over, be polite, don't argue, say yes, sir, and your chances of getting off getting out of that ticket are much better. Law violators? Wow, I didn't know we had so many at Oak Brook. Coming up in a couple of weeks is the upper school retreat. Are you having trouble deciding what to pack? Here's Gabby to give you a couple of ideas. Hi, I'm Emily Hope, and this is what I'm bringing to Wendy Gap. These shorts, and this hoodie. You really don't need much, just the basics. Hey, I'm Robert Caldwell, and I'm bringing all sorts of stuff to Wendy Gap, including this lunchbox for some food, a water bottle, because I'm a guy, a bunch of clothes, socks, everything a hoodie, and of course, two different kinds of bug repellent, deep woods and family care. It's going to be a splendid old trip. like to know, take advantage of every opportunity that you can see and move forward with it. And that's what I have to say. Thank you. And so Will's just going to talk about kind of what's been going on in his life and just share a very brief word of, of encouragement to us. I gave my heart to Jesus, like for real, uh, this past summer, I believe. And um, and that's an awesome thing. Like, my, I can, my life has changed since this summer. And uh, I'm just... I can't, I can't thank God enough, and um, he's the one who's given me all my talent and ability to play sports. Well, first of all, I want to thank God for blessing me with the ability to play basketball and the mind to excel in academics. I want to thank my grandparents and my parents for raising me and for making me who I am today. And I would like to thank my coach, Coach Burgess, for make, making me become a better basketball player and, I, and most importantly, making me a better person. I also want to thank you guys at Oak Brook for welcoming, welcoming me here and making me feel right at home. And I also want to thank the colleges that were recruiting me for believing in me and my talents to play basketball. But after these long 12 years of school, I think I'm ready to make my college decision. I will be taking my talent to the city of Greenville, Prime University. 